when uh, the chemistry started growing and we, we, we found ourselves in uh, making uh, funny skits to make people laugh and we both enjoyed it. So <laughs> that's how No, well it's, it's done. No, it's, we love to watch you. And so I think you had this um, talent in you from, a very, from the onset. So it's not something yeah. that you had to work at it. Okay, so it was something that was with you naturally. So yeah, it sits you, with me naturally, but with every talent, you know, you need to nurture it. You need to know what you need to do professionally to make it, uh, mm -hmm. a, 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 I mean, a brand for yourself. So that's what I, right. I started nurturing it. And I, I made a brand out of it by putting on hats to, to brand myself with it. Yeah. So today I'm not having the hat on. I mean, most people with the mm -hmm. name Calibos that ring in mind, you find the hat. <laughs> and I realized the hat was taken, I mean, a whole turn on me. One time we went for a shoot. I came back home. It was in the, around five-ish there. So I, I went straight to the shower to take my shower. I, mean, I took off my clothes. And I opened the shower and I realized the water wasn't touching my hair. That's when I realized, oh, I still have my hat on. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's interesting. So um, going, interesting. going back to your high school years, um, so mm. Sec, um, so whom secondary, tech, is it secondary yeah. tech, right? Yes, and it's okay. um, it's 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 a co-ed, right? So mm -hmm. you had both uh, female and male, right? Girls, both boys. And now girls it's in the female and male. Now it's mixed. But uh, during my time in Suhum, uh, it was a uh, boys' school. I completed two thousand and six. Yes, it was a pure so boys' when, school. Okay, when did you hear about menstruation? Because, you know, well, as a young... Mm, mm -hmm. yes. yes. So menstruation, okay. Backtrack to primary six uh, in St. Oh, Anthony School. Okay. Yes. Uh, then Cheche Kule, Cheche Kofis, uh, that's school. That's where I attended. <laughs> so I think <laughs> that was where my talent began. But then I remember when we were in class six, a certain girl, I've forgotten the name, she had a period. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, imagine we the well, boys. Yeah, that time. Mm -hmm. Imagine we the boys in the class. We've never heard of such before, and all of a sudden, someone is bleeding. What? 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 Cut her? Nothing. She's just <laughs> bleeding. All we knew was, ah, someone is bleeding. So me, I thought, okay, she's bleeding to death. I, I don't know. Because if someone is to bleed, well, <laughs> the next thing is to find us. So here I was <laughs> shouting and crying for help and all that. But then um I quite can remember you, can very you demonstrate well. how you were shouting? Can you demonstrate? We've how not heard it before. <laughs> we're young boys and all of someone is bleeding. They wouldn't explain what kind of thing and all we know is she's bleeding. Okay, so in my head, she's bleeding to death because we don't know what's happening. So one uh, one of our, our teachers, she's a female though, I, I already remember her name. She came and she grouped the boys on one side. Right. And then she grouped the, the girls on uh, the other side and then we had a talk, their talk. Mm -hmm. So the that was talk. the first day, I think, uh, I, I was made known of what menstruation is. And the, okay. the kind of transformation that a lady goes through when she okay. attains a puberty age. And I was like, oh, okay. Then I have sisters. I'm like, okay. Then I'll need more answers from my sisters. They just so they never told you anything about that? Silence and all that. I don't hear mm -hmm. from them. Like, we're all bubbly and funny at home. And all of a sudden, they'll be quiet. And so then I needed to have that talk with my sisters. <laughs> You're like, hey. Yes. What goes on every month? I know what yes, uh, <laughs> I have two sisters. I go home, I summon them. They're like, can we have a talk? Can you be sincere to me? What is going on that I don't know? Why do you people yeah. bleed? <laughs> yeah. So then they also explain the same thing to me. I was yeah. like, oh, okay. That so did, did your perception about women change after that? The talk? After I was told about that, I started mm -hmm. beginning to think that, okay, so women actually have more blood in them than us because <laughs> every man, they need to no. let some out. No, I don't... that's what you were told. 
I That's still important. have this thing in my mind because whatever <laughs> it's the time of the month and you're done, I feel like giving them, you know, blood tonic to take because you're still losing blood and you're not getting it back. So that's so me. any okay, so any experience with you okay, so besides the fact that you think we have more blood than men, um <laughs> what about being compassionate like how does has your perception change you know are you more um you know softer towards women do you um understand us a little bit much better than... yes yes okay very much more because as I, as i was saying um for my sister i'll take my sisters for instance because um i'm the only guy so i have two sisters and i, I realized at a certain time in the month, their 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 perception, their persona, everything changes. Yeah. So then it started making me ask more questions. Why? Why you all of a sudden quiet? Why? And um, um my 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 junior sister, she has lots of uh, menstrual cramps when she's menstruating, yeah. so it makes her very moody. And so oh. I didn't understand it at first. So. I mean, I got to get to know that this is what they go through and the, the, the kind of pain some of them passes through, like my junior sister. So it made me respect them a lot when the time of the month is up. I, I don't even, I remember at home, I, I literally don't let them do anything. When I know it's up, I, I help oh. them do everything. Yeah. <laughs> so so yeah, that made me learn how to cook, actually, because... Oh, I wouldn't want them to go near the fire, so I I I, I help them in a, lot, a whole lot of ways. Yeah. So guys, you see, there's a there's a lot of things you didn't know about this gentleman. You know, he's not just the funny guy you see on TV or <laughs> on uh, social media. He's actually, you know, he's caring. He he cares about women, so that's really nice. That's um, another one to your resume. That's awesome. But then what about your girlfriend? Do you do the same for your girlfriend? Like, do you, are you the type of guy that would run to the shop and pick up a, you know, a sanitary pad for your girlfriend when she's on yes. her um, menstruation? Yes. Yes. I've, I've done that uh, once. It was actually twice, but the second time she stopped me from doing it. Because of Why? the experience that I got there, <laughs> I went to the pharmacy <laughs> tell to us, get it. <laughs> tell us, tell us, tell us experience. Tell uh, us. It's, it's just funny. I wonder why anybody would do that to me. But anyway, I went to the pharmacy to get it. For some funny reason, I don't know why they thought I was making a joke out of it. Well, then I got to understand, okay, maybe it's caliber, so... Uh, he's supposed to make a bad joke out of it. So uh, I went to the pharmacy. I asked to buy it. And actually, to all the guys, if you're listening, this thing called the menstrual pad is one thing you can easily buy within the shortest possible time ever. Because for funny reason, they thought, okay, I'm buying a pad, and uh, it looks a bit humiliating, so they need to serve me quick. So the moment I said I need a, ba a pad, they were like, okay, yeah, here you go. Okay, bye, thank you. I spent, I couldn't, I didn't even spend a minute there. It was the fastest time I've ever bought something from a pharmacy. <laughs> oh my no so then why why do you think that because there's all this whole perception about menstruation how in our culture certain parts of mm. our culture the taboo when a woman is on her you know period she's not even allowed to cook mm. or do certain things you know why why do you think it's 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 like that and can we change it i i, I basically think you know because it has everything to do with blood you get it and yeah. um to 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 our i mean our culture it's it's not mm -hmm. clean blood it's actually the uh, quote unquote dirty blood coming out and yes. uh, most of them <laughs> some of them get stained and in staining themselves they might not be aware they might touch it they might yeah. do a whole lot of things with it that they are not aware of so yeah. i mean since quote in quotes it's termed as dirty blood mm -hmm. you touch it you might contaminate or affect everything that you hold so it's better you perception. stay away or you you remain by yourself 
yes, just not to. But then uh, that that was then, man. No, now they are they are more in healthy, hygienic, and secured parts label, which um, women will get to use it and not go through these, you know, uncomfortable situations that they might not get to do anything or might stain themselves. So I think now it's much better because I, I, I also remember, um, I mean, with our cultures, we know of the, the um, there's this cloth, the name should come. Without mm -hmm. using the pad, they, there's this cloth. It's a traditional thing that they use. I mean, uh, so I, that I, I don't know use... if it's still in existence. Sorry, cause... Sorry Calibre. Is that women yes. use? There's a cloth that women use? Yes. It's red okay. in color. It's it's a traditional thing. Yeah. On the period? It's a traditional thing. So, I, yes, on the period. Yes, it might, it might sound weird to you, but it's all indigenous and it's a traditional thing. Way back, I'll mm. need to get the name. I've forgotten. It's red in color, had some black dots in it. That's what they use. So, I mean, backtrack to those times when they use these cloths. These cloths cannot be, they can't even hold, okay, uh, I mean, the black for long. You get we, it? So, we in gang, boy, boy, boy. Wei, yes, hmm. yes, it's called Wei in Ga. And in, in Ashanti, I know, I think it's Amon Sions. I've forgotten the, the right word for it. Mm -mm. Yes, mm -hmm. then that's the cloth. And okay. I, I think I, I, I know with, with, mm -hmm, with uh, the, the indigenous, I mean rural areas you might find some of them still stick to these things that they use so you find them also trying to get them not to do anything not to come closer to people and that even reminds me i watched this indian movie i mean as i said yeah. really, i'm a film person so i i do watch a lot of movies uh it's titled padman i mean i, I really want you to watch that movie Please i think it's on netflix it. if not yeah. being taken up I'll, I'll do that. It's an awesome movie. It give a little synopsis about it. It's actually a man, a woman, a pure Indian village, which uh, you find them using cloths for their, their, their women during their period. Yeah. So with that time, they don't allow the woman to come closer to the family. The woman doesn't, she sleeps alone, mostly wow. at the, the porch or at an open space. Yes, whenever there's food to be given to her, they pass it through the door, I mean, under the door beneath it, for her to eat. She doesn't come close to them at all. All because wow. they, they use the cloth, and the cloth, they get stained, they get stained a lot. So this guy tried to invent, you know, uh, a pad system. So he started putting on cotton, clothes to do it and you know it wasn't something a guy in that country supposed to use mm. so it brought up a whole lot of issues and then one way or the other he, he yeah. never stopped the wife even left him the life the wife even left him the family abandoned him so now he still wanted to put on that dream to get that thing out and he did it and he became a billionaire and it's an interesting and a very educating it's movie about because, this system yeah, that's still it's... there that yeah, I will please... I definitely will. It's an awesome movie. You love it. Yeah, because I think education is really important, you know, when, when it comes to menstruation, you know, exactly. in this DNA, it's really important exactly. that we educate. And you know how mm -hmm. you are speaking, it's it's so refreshing to have a young man, you know, such as yourself, talk about it freely and not have any you know, um, issues with it. I think it's really great, you know, that we, and we need to get more men on board yeah. to express themselves and let them understand that exactly. it is part of exactly. And this is what creates mankind. So <laughs> we need to accept it, educate yeah. our younger ones and ensure that this perception is no longer, you know, present. It's really important. And I do appreciate the fact exactly. that you are open about it. Very, very it's important. really cool.
yeah no but text it to me okay. so so i got people watching for the for the title sorry Yeah, people are still asking for the title of the movie. Okay, so can you text it or is, is it possible? To... It. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing that. Yes, that. It's an awesome movie. I mean, I, I think it will oh, cut Padman. across uh, both male and female. They will learn a lot from it. Yes, the Padman. Awesome. So besides cooking for your sisters and doing all that great stuff, what about your partner? What do you do besides, you know, yeah. stopping by the shop to pick up pads for her? You know, don't talk about, don't, don't mention any names because I'm sure you're very, you know, you're a private ah. guy. You don't want everyone to know about your, your Yeah, life. definitely. But, but do you then... Do? Like, do, do you rub her feet? You know, does she go through all these like PMS in as like your younger sister, as you said? What do you do for her? That is, you know, like a, another woman would say, well, "Oh, that's so cute or that's so romantic." The rubbing of the feet is my specialty, so I think she would do it anyways okay. when she's like it. And I like the rubbing <laughs> of the feet. <laughs> Just well kidding. Done. But well, I'm always helpful around her. So during those times, I mean, um, there's certain things I wouldn't let her do. Yeah, you understand. Um, I help with the cooking. I help with the cleaning as well. So most of the times uh, during this time, you find me around. If not with work that I'm, I'm outside, I mean, Accra, I'm always, I'm always around to, to help her with a whole lot of stuff. Well, it's it's oh. now become two of it because I have my junior sister to live in with me, so uh, I kind of look at all sectors to to help them out. Oh, awesome! So you you do travel a lot. Um, what's what else is happening in terms of um, any movies lined up? What's mm. happening with you as Calibus the superstar? What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> so okay. So yeah, a fan just sent <laughs> me that they, they missed. Yeah, I mean, there was there was a whole lot of work lined up for 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 the year two thousand and twenty, twenty twenty, which we are all aware of the pandemic that's just putting everything on hold. But then. Before the lockdown, actually, I I uh, I was in South Africa with a movie, my first Netflix original movie, uh, starring mm -hmm. in it, which we shot in South Africa. Yes, we we're supposed to continue in uh, Atlanta, which the the lockdown just locked us in. Our lucky to come back <laughs> home. <laughs> yeah, lucky yes. you. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> yes, I mean, yeah. Work still needs to go on. So last month, last month, uh, uh, we shot a movie, Charade, starring myself and uh, Jackie Apia, with um, um, Rosalind Ngiza and some couple of faces. So it's it's one movie. I think it's really going to change uh, the movie system in Ghana as well, with a very right. chill down. I mean. Uh, uh, so no, to, so you're, to, 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 to put down entertainment. So yeah, um, I saw the um, interview you had. Well, like you were on the Conan O'Brien show, and it was so funny. You know, oh. I I like the fact <laughs> that you are cutting across. You know, you're not just in Ghana, but you're doing well <laughs> overseas. You know yeah. how like people are getting to know you're you're becoming a household name. You know, and it's amazing. How is that transitioning? Okay. How is that? How is that going for you? Is it something that is, you know, very, you know, easy? It's, mm. it's just kind of easy for you or this is, you know, you're pacing yourself as you go along? Yes, uh, as you said, I mean, it's been a, a swift transition because it's the aim of every artist, every actor, every musician in Ghana, whatever it is, to, to sell your brand outside your comfort zone that's uh my case sell it outside ghana outside africa so this what happened and then uh, i i i i had a, 
a connection with uh, Conan O'Brien. He's one of my favorite top show, I mean, hosts to watch. So me getting to know that he's coming to Ghana and uh, I'll have to have a segment with him. It's, it it's one, one pay set of a dream come true for me because it's oh, true that uh, I started getting uh, international recognitions. Yes, and uh, he loved the segment anyway. He, he never thought I was going to bluff that way, but then it happened and then he loved it and i got really good response from that uh, you are that, amazing uh, episode <laughs> you are with amazing. it yes <laughs> you, <are amazing. laughs> you know um you did really well no but that's i awesome was i was that. loving with him so much but then i had to put Keep on that doing character what to you're do that. doing we're so so proud of you um, um again i'm a fan from thank afar so we're so very proud of you and thank you for taking the time to oh. speak to us and administration you are an amazing guy thank you thank you once again and i know that you personally cannot use any sanitary pads but i would like for you to pick one follower a female of course so we can send a care pack to so whoever you th or it could be your wife your girlfriend okay. um you know we can send it to you so that you have a try oh. on and then you can give us a feedback after that. So you sure. don't have to mention her name if, if, if it's for her, okay. but you can also pick any of your followers too. <laughs> okay. I'll yeah. I'll do that. I'll do that. So sure. this is for your girlfriend, right? You're, you're going to choose your girlfriend, correct? Well, to get the constant, I mean, the right feedback that you need, I'll need to know whatever is going on. So then I'll need to get to my girlfriend. I'm sorry, fans, but then it's for feedback purposes. I need to give yes. me an adult okay. the right feedback, which Thanks I have to witness much. and know. Unless you are a fan, I'll have to come and stay in your house. And it's, I mean, we are keeping social distances, so. Exactly. Let this go so, to the girlfriend so that I totally I'll agree give the right you. response to that. I totally agree with you. <laughs> I totally agree with you. Thank you so much, Calibos. Thank you so much, Mira, yeah. Thank you. You're amazing. Kweku, Kweku Medawase, Medawase. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, Medawase. <laughs> <laughs> Have a lovely evening. Take care.